All right, everybody, I'm uh, here to help everybody out with trying to make their Shadowrun character. Uh, the best way I know to make Shadowrun character is with this Shadowrun character generator called Shummer. Uh, it's a really great free program, um, really easy to use, and you can get it from shummergen.com right here. Uh, we have a donate button, pretty cool. All right, so we're going to just try and put this together quick and dirty as we can. I'm going to make a new character. I've already installed the program. We go to new character. 400 build points. Uh, max availability is 12. Everything has an availability rating. You just won't be able to buy anything that has an availability of higher than 12. So, here we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a dwarven rigger. I want to make a wheel man because I really like wheel man characters. So, we'll go dwarf. And uh, over here, it's got the body agility, all of the uh, minimums and maximums that you can have for your stats. So we go, okay. And here we have right here, it's already automatically done our minimums. Like our body is two and our strength is three because those are just the attributes that get increased by being a dwarf. We've got thermographic vision over here. And it's already deducted the 25 build points for making a dwarf character, leaving me with 375 down here. All right, now, uh, first things first, what's great about this program is that you can jump around, you can tweak things, uh, it makes things really easy on you. Like, I'm gonna be playing a Dwarven Rigger. Well, I can, before I do any stats or anything else, I can jump over here to Cyberware, add Cyberware, and I can get a, uh, where is it? Uh, control Rig, there we go, Control Rig. All riggers need a control rig. While I'm here, I'll also get a comm link. Everybody needs a comm link. That's how you talk to people in this game. All right, so we'll go back over here to common, uh, and we'll uh, take a look at qualities. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get an aptitude uh, so that we can have an aptitude in driving so we can be the best driver around. I click to add it, go down here, find pilot ground craft, boom. And what that does is that it allows me to raise my skill up to a 7 instead of the normal uh, 6 that you can only raise it to. Um, and over here, with everything, we've got the build point, like Adept. This is also, if you're playing an Adept or if you're going to play a Technomancer right down here, or a Mystic Adept, uh, you know, all these things, uh, if you're going to play a Magician, uh, that's where you're going to select these from your qualities and your uh, your positive and negative qualities. And uh, everything Magician, you wonder what does that do? You go to SR4, that's Shadowrun 4th Edition, and it's on page 91. So that's great. We got that. So uh, what else do we want? Uh, we're Dwarf. I'm going to give myself a bunch of magic resistance right here. That sounds good. That's 30 positive qualities uh, we can only have 35 but I want to get a few of those points back so since I'm kind of a, a terrible with magic type guy um, there you go spirit bane I'll get a spirit bane and that'll be it for me now enter a value for the spirit bane it basically wants to know um, what uh, what kind of spirit you want so you're probably wondering what kind of spirits there are so we're gonna just uh, go and open up the Shadowrun core book and I happen to know that the types of spirits that you can get, some 302, you could also look in the index uh, down here, but here we go. Ugh, I hate this. All right, so we're gonna do page display single, and we're gonna zoom fit to width because I am blind and old. We got spirits of air, spirits of beasts, spirits of earth, fire, spirits of man, spirits of water. Water's good. I like that. Water. Because he's a ground vehicle type guy. And spirits of water. And this doesn't change anything. This is just a note for you. Alright, and uh, then uh, most people would uh, do their attributes next, but I want to go over to my skills. I don't have to do my attributes first. The first thing I'm going to do is gonna make sure that I max out that pilot ground craft. Alright. See, it allowed me to go to 7 instead of 6, so... And that runs off a of reaction, so I'll certainly want to have a good reaction time. Uh, if I'm going to be shooting, you know, mounted weaponry from my from my cool vehicle, I want gunnery. Uh, because I maxed this thing out, 
I uh, that's going to be my highest stat. My other skills can only go up to four. Basically, the rule of thumb here is you can raise one skill to six, and then the rest of them have to max out at four, or you can raise two skills to five, and the rest will max out at four. I chose to get mine all the way maxed out. I maxed out at seven, but that's because I pillaged just the quality. All right, so we've got gunnery, and what else do we want? Well, we want to uh, repair our stuff. So... Um, now we might be tempted to come over here and get uh, a skill group of mechanics. Uh, skill groups are basically they cost 10 points per level, but you will get a variety of uh, things under its purview. Uh, you Again, you max out of 4 with those, so it's not something that you want to do if it's the thing that you're supposed to be the best at. Um, but let's see here. We go to the skill groups that are on page 120. You know, athletics, you know, firearms. If you're going to be a firearms guy, you want to take just your weapons of choice, you know, but maybe you don't care so much about athletics, but you still want to be able to do it. It might be good right here. You know, you spend uh, 40 points and then you get four points in climbing, gymnastics, running, and swimming. Uh, me, mechanic, uh, I only care about automotive mechanic. I don't care about these other ones, so I'm not going to buy the mechanic skill group. There's really no skill groups for my dwarven wheel man that I'm going to want, but you might. So we got that. We got gunnery. Um, We'll back up here. So, automotive mechanic. Let me fix up my guy. Uh, always good to have some uh, perception. Want to notice things going on around me. And uh, dodge. Dodge. Definitely want to be able to get out of the way of someone swinging a club at your head. And uh, let me see. I want to be able to do something when I'm outside of the car. So, I'm going to take long arms. You know, I'm going to get a nice shotgun for this guy. All right, down here we've got knowledge, uh, skill points remaining, but we're not going to deal with that. We're going to go back here. Now, if you notice, most of our most of the things we're doing there, they require reaction agility. Obviously, reaction, that's the big bad. I'm going to put that up at five. Uh, but agility, we'll only put it at four. Bump an extra body in there, so we're at least a good tough dwarf. Charisma 2, Intuition is keep an eye on your surroundings. We want that 3 at least. Uh, logic and Willpower, we'll put those up at 4. And what we've got now is we've got 175 build points. You can only use half of your build points on your attributes. So basically I've only got 25 more points to spend. You don't need to spend all of them. So I'm going to put 2 points into Edge right down here under Special Attributes. That makes 195 and we're just going to go with that. Uh, and then we're going to click back over here to skills. Now I've got 21 knowledge skills. And basically what you can do with this is you can just uh, pull up the drop down menu uh, and just take a look at the list. There's different languages you can speak. There's different things you can know about. I'm going to take area knowledge Manhattan and I'm going to make that my big bad skill. So I put six points into that because what's a wheel man if he gets lost in Manhattan? That would be bad. Uh, let's see here. Knows all the bars in the clubs. We'll put points into that. Mm, let's. Oh, I added two skills there, but that's okay. We'll get to them. We'll get to them. Uh, oh, gangs. Always good to know about gangs. And uh, what else? Uh, do I want to know about firearms? I don't want to know about ghost content. Oh, what the hell? Let's speak Japanese so that I can get all the good Japanese import motors and stuff. I got three points left, so what are we going to do? Let's go down to the bottom here. And, uh, security tactics. Always good to know how security functions. And there we go. We've got all of our knowledge is done. And uh, that's going to pretty much uh, take care of the character himself. Uh, now he is he's not far from done because now he, do he doesn't have any stuff. Um, doesn't have any contacts. Let's do this. Let's add in a contact. Contacts are very important in Shadowrun. So we'll put in Tiny, the Bouncer. You know, he's got three in connection, and, but he's very loyal. We'll make him a four loyalty. And then he can be a guy that my guy goes to when he needs information. Maybe he hears whispers from the people around the club. So that'll be cool. All right. Um, next up, um, we're going to go to Street Gear. Very important, add a lifestyle. You want to know exactly how comfortable this guy is is living, and it also affects your starting new unit. If you take street, 
starting new yen, you're not going to have much, you know. Max, you know, you're going to have like 1d6 times 10 new yen. But it costs nothing per month. You're basically living on the street, whatever. But I want middle class. Middle class is good. Not a terrible neighborhood. Not a great neighborhood. Good middle of the road. We'll just go down this thing here. Add armor. All right. Armor. We've got different types of armor. we got clothing, fashionable, har helmet, shields, military grade. You're not really going to be able to get military grade just because, again, it's restricted at the beginning. Take the armor jacket. Very standard. You know, uh... 8 Ballistic, uh, 6 Impact, 900, it's really what most people start out with for armor. We could take uh, the, uh, we could go and get a helmet too, but I don't feel like it. Alright, weapons, add a weapon, we're going to go do the drop down menu, it's on blades, let's go down to shotguns. We got a Mossberg, that fires flechette rounds, does 9 physical damage, but because it's flechette rounds, it's terrible on armor. It gives plus 5 to anyone's armor, that's uh, armor penetration, uh, or armor penalty, I forget which, AP. So we're not going to take that, because I imagine I'll be shooting people with armor on. So the Remington, the Remington 990, that does 7P, it gives negative 1 AP, so it actually penetrates armor better. So we'll throw that in there uh, we're certainly gonna want some ammunition for that so right here on gear first category that comes up in the drop-down menu is ammunition we're just gonna be we're not doing anything fancy here so we'll go to regular ammo get like 30 rounds of ammo so we don't have to worry about it and that ammunition is for da, 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 shotguns all right and this program will also let you keep track of your ammo in game after you go into that pets and cohorts you know i can add in some my dog spike but whatever i'm gonna get rid of that uh next most important thing for my dwarven rigger is of course we're gonna if i'm gonna be a wheel man i need wheels so we go to vehicles and drones add a vehicle and we're going to go to cars and we got a bunch of different cars we got a bunch of different stats over here costs uh but we're gonna go with the sports car nice nice flashy sports car but then we we want to do some we want to add some stuff to it so that's when you don't click on this you click on the little arrow next to add vehicle and uh most of the menus have this for different items and gear and we're going to add a modification to it we're going to add rigor adaptation so i can jack into my car and be awesome uh and then while we're there uh we might as well add another modification of a weapon mount so we can shoot people because we all know that's awesome now we click on the weapon mount and we click on here and we'll add a weapon to that weapon mount add a weapon weapon mounts if you uh, look them up in the book are for light machine guns so we go in uh that's an important thing to note here is that um one of the greatest things that they have on this you click on this weapon mount you go source sr4 348 that's the uh, page 348 in your shadow run book so if i go to 348 bada bing I can go down here, here's my rigor adaptation right underneath that uh, is the weapon mounts and it's weapon mounts may hold any light machine gun or smaller size weapon, weapon and 250 rounds of ammunition. All right, awesome. So we're going to go back over here. We're going to go to uh, gear. Again, we're going to go add gear, ammunition, and we're going to do just regular ammo again. We're going to go with 250 rounds of ammunition because why not that's how much it's going to hold okay then it asks us for what it is and that's going to go to light machine guns light machine gun ammo bada bing all right so after that what do we want no well, it's cyberpunk or well it's shadowrun but shadowrun is cyberpunk so let's add some more cyberware. We already got our control rig and our comp plant, so uh, we know we want reaction. Reaction's good. So uh, this is going to be a point in the in the character generation. You're really just going to have to go to uh, the 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 book. You're going to have to go down to street gear. You're going to have to actually just you know read through all the different stuff that you can get. Gear is by far the best and the most infuriating part of putting together. Uh, something for uh, Shadowrun. 
So anyway, you're going to want to go in there, check out things out, go down to cyberware. You know, just just read through these gear lists. Read, read through the chemicals and the drugs you can get and all of these breaking and entering tools because there's all going to be cool stuff that you're going to want. Uh, and as you read it, you're going to come up with more and more ideas. So I've, uh, I've decided I want to get a reaction enhancer because reaction is such a big deal for uh, being the best driver out there. So if we come along here, we see reaction enhancers, we can get rating one, two, three. Uh, starts talking about reaction enhancers up here and what they do uh, all the way down to here. So we're going to buy that. So we get our reaction enhancer is a part of Da, 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 bodywear. So we go up here, we select bodywear from the top down menu. And uh, where's our reaction enhancer? Reaction enhancer. We're gonna get a rating. We're gonna max it out. Oh, we can't because uh, rating three would be 15. Availability would be 15. That's higher than 12. So we gotta dial that back. Rating two. Uh, so you know that would be something if I was gonna play this character. That might be something I would want to buy a better reaction enhancer in the future. Uh, so we're gonna get that, and then, I don't know, we need some more stuff. Well, this, we're not gonna think too much about this. This is cyberpunk, so let's get ourselves a cyber limb, just because. Obvious uh, limbs are synthetic. Synthetic are hard to spot. We'll do a full arm synthetic. Ask me left or right side, we'll do it on the right side, okay. And then since we pop the extra money, we should definitely add a weapon to it. So we're going to add, oh, yeah, there we go. Cyro weapon. And let's add a, a hidden shotgun to go with my regular shotgun. Oh, nope. Once again, can't do that. 20, 20 is the availability on that. So it is so illegal. God knows why they would ever want to stop you from mounting shotguns on your arm. But anyway, thanks, Obama. Uh, let's do shock hand. Ah, eight. Eight. Much better. We'll have that to zap people with if they take away our guns. Yeah. Come for my guns, Obama. I have a shock hand. Anyway. Uh, but I can't really use it right now, so we'll pop on over here to our skills, and we'll go down to unarmed combat, and we'll give ourselves one, two, three. It's not a primary thing for us, but we'll put it in there. All right. Now, at this point, you may have noticed that down here it says new yen remaining, and it says negative 151,000. Uh, so uh, we definitely... How do you you purchase these things. How do you get new yen? It's very easy. You come over here to common and uh, you just put this up. For every one point you put in here, you get 5,000 new yen. So we're just gonna keep putting 5,000 new yen in until we have paid for everything that we have bought. Hopefully we didn't buy too much stuff. Oh, I wasn't looking and I started clicking on the wrong arrow. All right. And oh, and we have definitely gone over negative sixteen thousand with no build points remaining. So uh, maybe we look at this. Maybe we don't need as much uh, logic or willpower as we thought we did. That frees up fourteen points. So we go and we put those in, and booyah! There you go. We got ten build points remaining, and we've got. 3,000 new yen, we can definitely, why don't we put the rest of those in as we finish up our shopping, just so we don't run out. All right, we've got that, we've got the other stuff. What else can we get? What else do we want? Mm, let's see, what else is on the gear list? What do we got here? Oh, a dock wagon contract. Definitely love to have a dock wagon contract. You get shot, they come and pick you up. And you don't die so what we got here super platinum you know basic you know they'll come and they'll basically put a band-aid on your boo-boo at some point gold is kind of the regular one platinum you know they they come they escort you they send a security team super platinum they basically mow down anybody who's even standing too close to your injured body so but that's a hundred thousand we don't got that kind of money to spend we'll go with gold gold's good all right, so we got a dock wagon contract. That's good to have. All right, uh, what else we got on here? 
You got all kinds of stuff on here. Slap patches, explosives, fetishes, not what you think. But uh, grapple gun and accessory in case you want to be Batman. And don't we all really want to be Batman? Uh, but I'm overthinking this kind of stuff right now. So uh, we've got that. Uh, we'll just go back over here. We'll take some of those build points back. Nope, we can't take that many back. Uh, now, normally I'd try and find the nice way to use this remaining 3,990 new yen, but instead I'm just gonna call this a day. Want we'll an alias for this guy? Uh, what kind of alias do we want? We're gonna on Shadow Run Character Generator. Uh, oh, care, name generator, not care. Name generator. This is just a stupid program I found one day and made me laugh. So, alright, so you are a male. Male! Ah, click. Sean Patrick Orange. Let's get my Shadowrun name. My Shadowrun name is Johnny T. Ripper. Alright. So, alias Johnny T. Ripper. All right, and last but not least, you're going to go over here. You're going to enter in your little vital information about your character. You know, whether you want blue eyes or gray eyes, gray hair, short little dwarf, short stocky little dwarf. Uh, well, his name will be John Doe. Player on orange, and then you got stuff for you know descriptions and backgrounds. Mm. And I'd expect you to do a little bit more than this. Help me out. You can also add a picture to this thing. Really kind of cool. Uh, and at the end, when you are done, when you know you don't want to change anything. You're going to click, in fact, you should probably save as, go to save as, and I've made a couple other things. We'll do Johnny T. Ripper, character generate, gen, all right, so we'll have that one saved. In case you want to augment this when I tell you that you can't have uh, 20 rocket launchers straight out of character generation. Uh, but you mark character as created and then you go save as and it'll give you this warning you know that basically after this uh it's going to switch into campaign mode where you can uh only change things by spending karma and you can alter your new yen for purchases and things like that all right so we are sure so we hit yes all right uh it's going to use those last uh four build points right here to give me my starting new yen it's going to roll uh 46 that's from my lifestyle uh plus 12 plus the four from my build points times 100 and okay and there you go it's going to give me the option i'm just going to remove this boom and we've got giant t ripper you can see i was working on a couple other uh characters before this to kind of get the system down so we save it and then it changes to this and it makes for a wonderful uh, ability to you know click through see what's on your on your guy mark improvements you know make notes about the campaign and what's going on here's where you, you uh, spend karma on stuff and see right here we got uh, 16,000 uh, starting 1600 starting new yen so you're not dying you're not broke all right, and uh, basically, um, you can save the file and then just email it to me at agentorange at gmail.com. And uh, also, if you want to, you can print out a copy if you like having it. It's, uh, it's really nice. There's multiple different ways you can print it out. Like, this would be the, the character sheet that you would want. Uh, maybe I would go down to Game Master Summary and just print out this one so I can kind of have it to reference about your characters. And uh, also, um, while you're at it, you really want to uh, go to Roll20.net and you want to uh, sign up there for free. And then after you do that, you can find New York City, the Rotten Apple, and you can join up and link your account to it. You can see Joy's already done that, and then there's me right here. 
Kickstarter backer. Oh yeah, that means I have access to things that other people do not, and you will all get to benefit by them. But uh, so there you go. That's how to very quickly bang out a character in uh, in uh, Chummer.